Art on Demand is a production of the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County, brought to you with support from Alice Beach, 30A.com, and Florida Department of State, Division of Cultural Affairs. While these events are provided at no cost to you, we do ask that you donate what you can by visiting our website, culturalartsalliance.com, in order to help the CAA continue to foster creativity, employ artists, and bring you entertainment, education, and engagement through Art on Demand. We hope you love this virtual event. Welcome to another episode of Art on Demand, produced by the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County. I'm Walt Hartley, owner and operator here at Dive 30A, and I also volunteer as the board president for the South Walton Artificial Reef Association. We're down here in Grayton Beach, Florida, and today we'll be exploring the story behind the Underwater Museum of Art, or UMA for short, the nation's first permanent underwater sculpture exhibition. The UMA is made possible through a collaborative partnership between the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County, or CAA, and the South Walton Artificial Reef Association, better known as SWARA. But it was actually Allison Wickey, a renowned local artist, diver, and at the time, board president of the CAA that came up with the idea initially. Inspired by similar work in Mexico and a few other locations, she saw what Suara was doing with reef deployments around here, had visited several of the sites, and basically started thinking, what about using sculptures to make artificial reefs? The UMA is a perfect marriage of the arts with marine conservation. It's the first presentation of the CAA's Art in Public Spaces program and also provides valuable habitat for a wide range of marine species while showcasing unique and prolific works of art. Each year the CAA puts out a call to artists and receives submissions from all around the world. Selected artists then get to work actually creating and fabricating their pieces before delivering them to South Walton to be put on display on dry land for the annual Under the Sea UMA fundraiser during CAA's Art Month. To me, this is a really important part of the whole process. Um, these events connect people with the message of each sculpture and the intention and motivation behind each piece. Um, you know, you, you have folks that might not be divers, um, curious kids. These events open the sculptures up to anybody and everybody that wants to see and, and touch and feel uh, what the artist was trying to accomplish. Next, the sculptures are delivered to Walter Marine's shipyard in Orange Beach, Alabama, to be fitted with custom bases to keep them steady and also inspected by Suara and Walton County staff and other environmental officials before being deployed. There are serious restrictions on what can and cannot be used for artificial reef material. UMA artists mainly use marine grade concrete, limestone, and metal, mostly steel, sometimes aluminum, to really help shape the structure. No plastic or paint is allowed, no fiberglass, no particle board. These sculptures, once deployed, are going to be down there forever, so the materials used really have to be able to stand up to the marine environment. Suara, since 2013, has successfully permitted over 22 acres of sea bottom for artificial reef deployment across 14 different sites. These are locations in the Gulf of Mexico that have been studied and surveyed and selected as best possible places for habitat development. UMA is located about one mile off the shore of Grayton Beach, Florida, in about 58 feet of water. Visitors will have to scuba dive to see the sculptures. But the good news is, admission is free. Deployment day is really the most fun part of the process. We get to head out on the water and watch the sculptures get lowered down on this huge crane and literally witness the museum getting made. Walter Marine uses a surveyor's GPS on the top of the crane, which is accurate to one meter to place each sculpture. So far, the sculptures have been arranged in concentric circles with the Suara skull as the centerpiece. The very first deployment took place in June 2018 with seven pieces. Then we added 11 more pieces in 2019 for the second deployment. 
and installed another seven in early 2021. We had to skip 2020 because of uh, COVID and everything. But that brings the grand total of sculptures at the Underwater Museum of Art to 25. There's over an acre of space on the sea bottom dedicated to installations for the Underwater Museum of Art. The current 25 sculptures only take up about a quarter of that space, but this thing's gonna keep growing. And that's really one of the coolest parts of this whole project and dive site to me. It's that it's, it's gonna keep growing each year, not just with new art and new sculptures, but over time, literally with more new habitat. You know, we're, we're really just providing the canvas, uh, I feel like. With UMO, we're combining art, ecosystems, and education. Three passions of the South Walton community in a truly unique way that creates a source of biological replenishment and protective marine habitat while also raising awareness for our marine resources and really showing us the impact that we can have on our coastal environment. And the medium is art. That's really the secret ingredient. Um, it's something that everybody can participate in. The CAA's mission is supporting the arts through leadership, advocacy, funding, programs, and education. SWARA's mission is protecting and preserving our marine resources by creating sustainable habitat that helps our fisheries thrive. UMA is so much more than a new marine habitat, a collection of cool sculptures at the bottom of the Gulf. Um, as a project, UMA has brought so many people and ideas together. It's helped and inspired so many new artistic and conservation efforts, including other underwater museums, and that is, that's something that we're just so proud of. this content, go ahead and visit culturalartsalliance.com and click donate. $5, $50, $1,000. Every little bit helps. Thanks so much. Thank you for experiencing this episode of Art on Demand presented by the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County with support from AliceBeach30A.com and Florida Department of State Division of Cultural Affairs. We hope you explored your creativity and learned something new today. As the creative core of Walton County, the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County offers support, connection, and access opportunities for all forms of art, every variety of maker, all levels of learners, and especially art lovers. Through performance, funding, and educational programs, the 501c3 organization directly connects the people of Walton County with the broader view, the critical exploration, and the answers only the arts have the power to provide. If you loved this episode, please visit culturalartsalliance.com and click the donate button to give what you can to help the CAA continue to bring you art on demand. And stay tuned for our next virtual event coming soon.